be sure to check out my Patreon for weekly exclusive interviews, extra content on VV and Omi, and building generational wealth, as well as money management tips from experienced whales. I showed this chart before, but I just want to show it again. We have every time Bitcoin from the top to the bottom, it retraces like 85%. This time was 86. From the top to the bottom, this was 84. From the top here to the bottom would put us around 10. Around 10 to 3 here. Are so, Bitcoin's falling to 10? It can. It did before. There's no reason why I can't do it again. It does an 85% retracement. I mean, it doesn't mean I'm going to wait there to start putting money in, but... I kind of thought we were going to fall in this box, and here we're coming to this box now. This box is between 19 and 14, more or more so. Yeah. So, and we got this major trend line that we've been holding for pretty much since the beginning, 13. So, I'm expecting this area to hold right here. You see how we got this long wick here? We can get a long wick down here to 10k. That's my thinking, you know. So, but generally, this is a buying area. But I have a concern because I go to this is Bitcoin, right? Yeah, this is Bitcoin. These are six month candles. Uh, we've never seen a six month candle like this. Yeah, that's horrible. Okay. So I'm thinking we're going to fall. Like our, our hard support is at 13.8 area. We have the most touches here on this level. So I definitely think we're going there. That's my target. I think we can come down here to 10 and fall through here with a wick. If I switch this up, because this is what they call bearish engulfing candle. And generally, that means continuation. And that's on the six months. So we've never seen that. So we can definitely come down more. Okay. So let me switch this to three months. Okay, that's closing. This is closing in 10 days. Six months is closing in 10 days as well. You can see more of the support here. You see we got one, two, three, four touches on this. 13.8 area and a lot of touches on the next level 10k so this is probably the zone we're going to fall in okay. between 13 and 10 that's a likely area that we're going to drop in now if i go to monthly candles eh, here this is what i was trying to talk about like everybody's worried about the bottom well, we haven't even gotten, we haven't even stopped yet. We haven't even stopped going down yet. That doesn't look like a bottom to me. Like, this is what we want for a bottom. Something that stops and it's round. Uh, if I go to Ethereum, it looks a little different. But do you see how long we stay at the bottom here? I mean, we stay for quite a bit of time. Yeah. And um, why I'm saying that about Ethereum is because Ethereum, whatever Ethereum does, generally all coins do. So there's no rush. Like, all right, we can call this the bottom, and then we drop what? So everybody called, thought this was the bottom. And look, we dropped another 50%. So I'm not in a rush to call the bottom. Matter of fact, I don't even care if I catch the bottom. I just want to make sure the market's stable and we have some sort of sideways action. And then you have time to accumulate whatever your favorite coins are. Yeah. Like, like right now, we're going straight down. We didn't even hit support yet for Ethereum. Ethereum support right now is 750. We're just stuck in a wind right now. I mean, there's support here at 10. It's like 10.5. But I'm on higher time frames here. So I think Ethereum's coming down in this box between like 300 and 450. That's where I think Ethereum's going to end up. Can we bounce here at 750? Yes, but I want to see it first. Yeah. 
So let me switch over to Bitcoin. We're gonna look at Bitcoin here on a daily really quick. Okay, so you see this is just a trend line from the top here. We hit here, we went down. So this is one major trend line right here. Yeah. But then I made another trend line from this top coming all the way down. Every time you touch this, this is a good short entry, short entry, short entry. Okay. What I see is the best case scenario, which would just be what they call a relief rally, if we even get one, is Bitcoin could... First off, I want to see Bitcoin get past this resistance. It's like 22, 22K area, between 22 and 23, like right here. Like I'd like to see us get past here. I'm going to personally be trying to short up there. Uh, better yet, I would like to see this. I mean, I, I don't know what's going to happen. Like The problem is this is what they call yearly pivot support and it's based off of fibonacci's and it's just it's very strong okay um that's the best way i can put it so i don't see us getting above this level but in case we do maybe do something like this test report come up to this trend line i will be short in there All right so i don't see bitcoin really getting past twenty six thousand. okay okay right now if we get a rally now, a lot of it depends on regular stock market, traditional markets. They start rallying, then Bitcoin will rally. But they have a lot of bad news. I, I suspect there's going to be a lot of bad news the first week of July. So I think everybody's going to sell this week, or the market's going to be in turmoil the first week in July. We get inflation numbers and all that stuff, and it's quarterly numbers. So a lot of those big tech companies and other companies, they're, they're going to miss their earnings. Yeah, we have inflation. So we need inflation to plateau. Yeah. Like, we keep rising. So we need that to at least plateau. So realistically, I, you know, like I said, my target for Bitcoin, I don't know how we're going to get there, whether we come up here. But my target's down here in this box. Can even make it to 10K. But I'm a buyer down here. I'll keep buying. But I want to see. I'll definitely buy down here. That was my original target. My original target was 13.8. That was from the bear fly. Oopsie. So. I'm not getting excited at Bitcoin rallies. I'm just looking for another place where people are going to get out or I'll set another short. So, yeah, that's Bitcoin. So I'm not excited yet. I think we'll get rejected here or 26k like 26.5 or whatever it is up here depending you know i don't know the price until we get to this line yeah so i'm going to omi here here goes to omi let me open this up a little bit okay it's point nine it's really point six. It's like point zero zero eight three eight four. My scale out here. That's yearly support, yearly pivot support based off of fibs. So in my experience, when we get so close to these, it becomes like a magnet. Like we gotta test this area. So while I buy there, sure, I'm going to buy a little bit. Maybe we get down there. But, I mean, not financial advice. I want to show another strategy you could use, I guess. But what's wrong with doing this? Oops. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. So with Omi, here's a strategy you could do. 
What's wrong with just putting tons of fishing orders in there? So it doesn't matter where it goes. You get filled wherever it goes. You can put tons of little fishing orders. So the object is not to catch the bottom, but, you know, we all want to catch the bottom, but you just want to get a good average price. So you can just put fishing orders in. They get hit, great. They don't, guess what? You have more capital to add on later. But that's one strategy you could do. And here, let me do this for a second. I look at this on a weekly. Does this level look really hard to get to? We're getting rejected here. This is a major support that we lost. It's now resistance. To get down to this 0 0.9, 0 0.8 area, it's really not far-fetched with a, a Bitcoin's going to drop another 40, 50% from 20K. Yeah. So for us to drop... What is that? Oh, hold on. For us to drop 25%, is that really a lot to ask for if Bitcoin drops 40, 50%? I don't think so. No, so. Not at all. I'm not in a rush right now. We don't have any bottom. Like, there's nothing that's showing a bottom right now in Bitcoin or anything else. So, now, let me go back here. All right, so here's one thing on you know for a trade. I still don't think this is the bottom. So if we came up here, we came down, we made like what they call like a double bottom, and then start going up. Will I take this trade? Yeah, I'll take that trade because that's what the market's given me. But that's what we need for a bottom somewhere. We just don't go to the bottom, go straight up. It just doesn't happen that way. I mean, if it does, it's called a V-shaped bottom, and there has to be a reason. They got to print money. They got to give out stimulus. That's the only way we're getting a V-shaped recovery. That's the only way we got it before. So that's what I think. I think we're just everybody was waiting for twenty k here. What's Bitcoin? Yeah. All right. So we'll go back to Bitcoin here. So right here. Or this was about here. We'll say this area. Nobody thought Bitcoin could break this level. Impossible. And I said, as soon as we break this level, we're going right to 20K. And that's exactly what we did. We did it. Here. I took, look, we broke it. One, two, two weeks. Here we go. Right there. I knew the area's not going to hold. Look how many times we're testing it, the weaker it gets. So we kind of got the same issue here. I mean, if we're just looking at this chart, could we do, you know, could we trade all the way back up to here and then come back down even more? Yes, we can do that. It's very possible. But How long do you see it taking before we touch the, the bottom or find the true bottom? Excuse me? How long do you think it's going to take until we find the true bottom? I'm very interested to see what happens this week and the week and the week after July 4th, because I think that's when we can get some turmoil in the traditional markets and I'll take Bitcoin down. Okay. I mean, at some point we'll, we'll uncorrelate from the market at some point. I just don't see it happening right now. And honestly, with all these other big companies like Celsius and everything else, they get liquidated. If the price gets to this box, they get liquidated. I don't see them giving them much time to add money to lower their liquidation prices. So I, I see the bears just pressing the gas right now. Yeah. Like, that's, you know, there's just too many uh, unknown. It's going on. Like you can't have coins getting liquidated and yeah, it just it causes chaos. It ripples into everything, every other project. Like, say, if you get liquidated on one exchange, or off, say you took out a loan on Celsius and you took that borrowed money and you made a trade on another exchange 
on that trade gets liquidated, well, guess what? What happens on Celsius gets li liquidated too because you borrowed that money from there. So when they all hit the same liquidation points, it just causes the mass capitulation. And when that happens, we don't know where the bottom is. It's very hard to gauge right now. All I can do is kind of go off of the history, and the history says 10K is a likely area for 85% retracement. Yeah. No. The reason I showed this over here, because everybody's asking me where the bottom is for Omi. And I figured I'd show everybody this strategy because, like, you can't really go wrong with this. I mean, this is like, it's how you're, you know, how I was taught my financial advice. How I was taught to catch, you know, to get an entry on something. You put multiple orders in, you know, and that's what you're looking to do. It's called fishing. You're fi putting in fishing orders. So if we do get a, a really bad capitulation candle, guess what? You you just got orders filled that you wouldn't have gotten filled in a regular market. But we're not in a regular market right now. This is not an investor's market. This is a trader's market. But then here, I'm going to show you something else. Here's uh, it's called a Bitcoin rainbow chart. Basically, just like the, it's like a growth curve chart. So every time you see Bitcoin down here in this uh, blue or purple, it's been the best time to buy. So, yes, this is the best time to buy for investment purposes. But my main concern is why I'm not just like, yeah, we're at the bottom. Just doesn't matter. We'll be good. Bitcoin has never endured a traditional market bear market since its existence. So that's a variable we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen there. Traditional markets can still come down 20, 25% more. You know, so I'm just on the, rather be on the side of caution. Okay. So you're but, still expecting something we've never seen before. Yeah. We, I don't know. I mean, when I start to see a bottom, I, you know, I'll definitely say something. But I think I think it's a bottom. Or what I'm doing. I mean, but even if you invested here, like here, look, we dropped out of this rainbow here a little bit. So we could drop down out of this rainbow and get back in. But if you're investing now, this is like a buy time from like every past cycle of Bitcoin. But we have, like I said, those other variables that we haven't dealt with before. But if you have like a two to four year outlook, this is probably a great buy zone in general. What's the difference, really? If you have that time, kind of time horizon, but that's just that's just not how I'm not investing. I rather be pretty confident. I want to see the market bottom. A little, I'll add a little bit. I want to see some sideways. I'll add a little bit more, and then I'll wait till we get some uh, like a nice floor. Like you don't have to be a hero and catch the bottom. You just got to put your money at the right time. Yeah. Like the same thing for Ethereum. I see Ethereum coming down to like 450 all day. I think it's very possible. That was like my original target was between 750 and 450. But now the more I'm looking at it, if 750 doesn't hold, we'll probably go right to 450, maybe lower. That's what I mean. I, I can't tell what the handle's looking like this. I, I don't want to jump in front of that. Why would it, what am I trying to get in so fast for? Yeah. You know, I'm just being realistic. But it's being what patient. Do you see, um, what do you think, like, overall, I guess, maybe down the line, what do you see, what's the highest do you see Ethereum going to? I mean... What we got close to 5k this year, something like that. Yeah, what well, we got like 4800. Yep, pretty close. Yeah. I mean, on the next cycle, we could definitely get to 10 20k. What? Oh, yeah, that's what I could see crazy Bitcoin. to buy now, right? So, if you're looking at from that perspective, it's not a you know, it's not a bad play, but the problem is. Is this this is the problem? The 
This is tradi traditional markets. Like that, that doesn't look like a bottom to me. <laughs> like uh. I don't know, I don't know where we're gonna end up, but we need traditional markets to at least like base out. Like here, let me lower this a little bit. Like those are monthly candles. So if I were to do this here. I mean, just just an idea. I don't know if this is what's going to happen or not. But or, so I take this from the bottom. This is fib retracement. So if I go like this to here. Okay. So there's a high probability we could come down here. They could drop another seventeen percent. And usually, whatever happens in traditional markets, you double it when it comes to Bitcoin. If not more. Oh, wow. So, and that, this would probably be like the bottom of the market based off of FIBS. I want to see something here. Yeah. Okay. Let's reverse the FIB. We could actually, you know, I got to see the markets. I, if, if we don't get good news the first week of July, we're coming down. And this is what's happening. But so this would be a good area here. Three, two. And it's still the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the tra traditional markets are kind of concerning me. The very least, we got to make some sort of look. All right, look, we had that one bullish week. We'll just do the same simple stuff. Let me do this a little trend line, something like that. Boom, went to the trend line, rejected. So here we go. We can bounce up, go to the trend line again, reject, reject, reject until we make the move. That could send us. Shit. I mean, that's end of September. But we just keep doing the same thing. We go up to the trend and reject. See if we bounce here. It's just a relief rally. I still think the target's down here. One of these two lines. Okay. So that's why I'm being cautious. crazy so we still got some basically potentially we have some more day. months to go down yeah i wish we had like a covid crash that was easy boom 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 we were done let's go this is what i call like a slow bleed they're just bleeding everybody out every time we pump people think it's the uh, another run so essentially in the stock market you really can't even consider that until we make what they call a higher high so price would have to go oh where are we at here price would have to come down some sort of double bottom we're not going to go right through there and get back up here then you could be like, all right, coast is clear. Let's go. Mm -hmm. We're not even making a higher high yet on a weekly. I mean, you could try it daily. But when you're dealing with six month candles that look like this, I'm not worried about daily candles. I want some weekly candles. Because this. That's just not inviting to me. We don't even have a bottom wick. Like you see, you got a wick here, a wick here, some buy pressure, some, you know, buy pressure. We don't have buy pressure yet. I know it's a six month candle, but I just eclipsed two candles. <laughs> like really fast. And just eclipsed a year. A year's worth of price action that went up is gone in six months. 
that puts in perspective. Wow. Yeah. So it's just time to educate yourself. Yeah, I mean, this is all really useful to know. It's definitely it's definitely important to get this perspective and to know the different things to look at because yeah, it shows a a very clear picture when you put it like this. I don't see the need to rush. Uh, I mean, on a positive note, I mean, like I said before, you have all this time here. Like, look, even though, like, we go from the bottom, let's see, to here, it's like 300%. We'll go from the bottom. Like we could get a really nice rally here. 300%. But the bulk of your money is not made until after the halving. The 75% of the gains of a cycle are made after the halving. So whether you catch the bottom or not, I think it's better off to look at it as I have all this time to accumulate. It doesn't really matter what the prices are. So I can be patient and wait for the bottom because I know it's the bottom. And so it's going to give me a little bit of time to put my money in. But, you know, you, I got to the bottom here. The bottom's here, but we'll just call it the middle of this box. It gave us a year, a little over a year to accumulate before the halving. So wherever this bottom is, wherever we end up, whether it's, you know, even if we stay down the bottom to the end of the year. We have quite a bit of time to accumulate. So I don't see the rush right now. That's my point. So you think we're going to have, like, potentially a year to accumulate? Well, essentially, if you if you have, like, that four to five, like, that four-year outlook. Because if you're going to make 75% of your gains after the halving, like we do every year or every cycle. Yeah, you can. There could be a nice three, four hundred percent move in between there, but then it comes back down. <laughs> you know, it comes, it comes back down. So, yeah, or it did here anyways. It didn't the first time, but even when we didn't the first time, look, we were at the bottom for almost. 10 months, nine months. So let's get a bottom candle in and some sideways or something before I say, all right, I'm going to deploy some cash. Yeah. But as far as OMI, if you have that long term outlook, I mean, those are monthly candles. Right. We're going to have to round. <laughs> it's gonna take time, you know. We're not just gonna go. All right, we're going up. Like, yeah, Omi looks crazy. <laughs> you know, once Omi gets back above like that point zero two two, we can make a nice run up. But that's gonna be our resistance for now. So even if we do bounce up, we're not getting past there. So best you can, I mean, you can make a hundred percent move on your money. That's still good. Well, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, if you look at this on a monthly, does that look, you know, like a bottom? No. Nah, we definitely. I mean, we could do an update video. I'll do an update video on like the first week of July. Yeah, that sounds good. I mean, I know the community loves when you share all this information with us. I know a lot of people are going to be putting in some some buy orders at these different levels now. Um, yeah, I mean, that's not financial advice. I'm just showing you, like, a strategy that you could use. I mean, you really need to catch the exact bottom. Like, what's that going to do for you in three or four years? Nothing. Yeah, like, I mean, you buying under yeah. the penny, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, bro. I mean, look at the prices. So, my point is don't wait for me. Have a night. I have some sort of plan. Because I might wait, you know, I may not catch the bottom. 
Yeah. These are good entries. I mean, an overall pitcher. I mean, we can drop. What's this? Thirty percent, forty percent. Yeah, well, we could drop thirty, forty percent all day long. Will it? I don't know. But the Bitcoin drops. Oh, we can drop. Oh, uh, I did want to ask you about something because I I, I covered another trader on the channel, and. Mm -hmm. He had an opinion that Omi was going to take, I believe, five years to hit 25 cents. What's your viewpoint on that? Huh. Well, twenty five cents. Is where I think we could have hit this this cycle if we hit it at the right stride. That was my overall target from this past cycle. It's all about timing of the bull cycle. They basically missed everything they needed to do. So obviously you can see that here. And they lost confidence. Everybody they didn't, you know, we weren't on exchanges. There's no way can buy it. Yeah. Uh here's full fifth. Let's just see. Now it's going to change a little bit. Look from here. Whatever, I'll do it from here. Oh, wow. Yeah, five cents was what I was thinking, my fault. I was thinking of five cents this year. Like, if we would have caught it in the original run and we were on exchanges, we could have made it to five cents. And then we could have came down and made another push up, and that's when you can hit 25 cents. So we're going to go hit 5 cents at some point. And a lot of people are going to take profit. And hopefully, if we hit 5 cents, retrace, find support, we can definitely make it 25 cents at the next bull cycle. Anything past that, I would just say is extra as a bonus. Yeah. But five, it's going to be five cents and twenty five cents. It's going to become psychological numbers at that point. It's going to be five cents, twenty five cents, fifty cents. But I can tell you right now, once you pass a dollar, you get to like five and seven bucks, like really fast. But we're extremely far away from that right now. So, me personally, I would be looking for five cents and twenty five cent targets. That makes sense. Yeah, definitely seems like a a trading perspective for sure. Um, so basically if anything above that is going to be something un it, you can't really chart basically if, if it's some type of explosion or something. Yeah. Cause you're like, I'm trying to show you why. So just, I'm trying to make it make sense for you. This is how we look at it. So, all right. So price went up, we'll say wherever it went here and we came down and made a bottom say whatever we probably should make this a bottom right here and then we go up well we would pull a fib from here to here and we would trade it to these extensions and a lot of times in bull markets we can make it to like the 3.618 to 4.618 so this would be the next target So once we went up here, say we went here, boom, and then say whatever, we made a retracement, whatever. Say we made it to here, it went up. I get rid of this and do it again. That's the only way you can chart what they call price discovery. Oh. And and we go up there again. You know what I mean? It's, we just use fibs. That's why we can chart price discovery. Oh, so yeah, it's just the same thing over and over based on where the market moves. Yeah. And Bitcoin and Ethereum, everything has to be strong. So I think Omi and Vivi have plenty of time to make everything work before then. So I think we're good there. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Well, all right. I think yeah. we're good in the future. I just got to be patient right now. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like it's just a time to to just relax and accumulate if you can, if you want to, at your own levels. Um, yeah. Yeah. Formulate your special. own strategies. Um, like, learn here. I'll show you something real quick. I don't know if people want to see this or not, but here, I'll just do something real quick. So... Because I know a lot of people don't chart, nor do they understand, you know, nor do they understand. So here, let's make a new chart. What is that? All right, there. Okay, we'll go to daily here. Let me get rid of this. We're on a daily here. This is just something simple. This is just like right. when we're in a trending market. You're just this is just a just a MACD. So when you see like when you see this down here, this low, or anything down here, well, when we cross up, that's when you you would invest and then when it goes up when this line crosses you take your money or a portion of it and then it does it again you invest again you ride back up when this blue line crosses you take the money out and that's your strategy that's like a really simple strategy you could do on a daily it's not something you're going to make a lot of money with on every day but you can protect your money that way and you could compound it at the same time. That's just a simple strategy. Like, all right, you rode this up. I mean, this is a really basic indicator. All right, so we crossed here. So every time you get in on the cross, boom, cross. All right, I'm cross out. I'm taking my money. Thank you. And did it again. All right, I'll cross back in. I go, and then take your money again. Might not make a lot, but guess what? Your money's protected. Look. You did it here. You bought here. Well, look at this time. You rode it all the way up, at least to here. <laughs> then you, you get out. You get back in. Like this is like a trade, like every month or two, couple months. But that's how you protect your money. Yeah, that look easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, if you invest, you got at least learn how to use something. That's an easy way. You're not going to catch the exact bottom. You're not going to catch the exact top. But your money's going to be protected, and you're probably going to make money. Yeah. But that's the objective. The objective in trading investing is capital preservation. Like, like this is just horrible. Like, we're just bleeding out here. <laughs> Anyways, I just want to show something simple that maybe people don't know. Yeah, this, this is definitely a good indicator. Um, I think it's easy for anyone to pretty much follow this, um, possibly, but yeah, um, we'll definitely do, do an update, um, as the market progresses and things move a little bit more, a couple of weeks, maybe. Um, but yeah, thanks for, thanks for taking the time to show us all this, man. Definitely appreciate it as always. No problem. Um, yeah, be Have sure to night, follow bro. him. Huh? Have a good night. You too, man. Um, follow, follow God's entry oh, <clears throat> over on Twitter. Excuse me. Sounds good. But yeah, um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And yeah, we'll catch y'all in the next one, homies. Peace out, y'all.